Now, Tony Aitken introduces Zigzag. Isle of Wight again and we're going to make a bit more progress with our treasure hunt or at least I hope we are. It all depends on Tony and whether or not he's come to a sticky end on the railway line. You remember it all began when Tony was on holiday on the island. To save Joan's boatyard he was led off on a treasure trail of adventure. The clues were all very puzzling but I'd worked them out so far what about this one? One finger might ten minutes be. How far is near? Perhaps before the answer you must see the scale of different maps. So, I decided to set off for town and find some maps. And on the way, my route led me across what I thought was a disused railway. I wasn't the only one to get a shock. This chap had been working on the line and had seen the whole thing. Yeah, well, I got a bike wheel in the, in the rail. Yes, I saw it happen just before yeah. the train came. Be a bit more careful next time. Yes, indeed. Always think, where you see a railway line, trains are running. Stop, look and listen before you cross the line and always close the gates after you've crossed. Yes, I will do next time. Still, we're on the right side of the tracks now. Can you tell me, this is the right road to town, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. And now, if you go down this track, turn to your right, go along the main road, which will take you into Roxall. When you've gone through Roxall, you'll find the footpath that takes you over the downs and into Ventnor. That sounded miles away. How long would it take me? Well, I was slow over rough ground, faster on the smooth road, even faster by car. And if I'd gone by train or plane, I'd have got there even quicker. But I made good time, especially downhill. Uphill was hard work, and I was slower. Roxall. At least I was on the right road. And now, over the downs to Ventnor. Up there. It'll be slow going by foot. If you remember, the clue in the bottle said, you must see the scale of different maps. So it's going to be important for Tony to get hold of some of these. And he can't afford a moment's delay, but where will he find them? Tourist information. They'll have maps. There's a map with pictures to show the things you can find. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Um, yes, I wonder if you've got any more leaflets with maps on. Yes, like, like this yes, one. certainly. Yeah. Right, sorry. He had lots of maps for all sorts of uses. This map showed camping sites. This one will give you the right of way. This was a map showing yeah, footpaths for walkers. The coastal path there, deserted. This one here will give you our local trail. A smaller map showing beauty spots. That one will give you the actual markings of National Trust. Mm. Mm. And then we have the official Vetna Street Plan. Mm. Ah, yes. This map just showed the town of Ventnor. 
You'll notice that we're marked in here in the mm. High Street. Fine, well, I'll, uh, I'll take this one. But ha have you got a map with, uh, of the whole island with, it, with more details in it? Yes, well, really, so if you require that, you would need the Ordnance Survey, yeah. which you could purchase just round the corner from me to the left at the bookseller. This was more like it, a map showing the whole island. The whole island again, bigger, but not much detail. I don't think it's got all the roads on it. And here's the Ordnance Survey map, with all the detail I could want. Ordnance Survey maps are made by the government. They're very good. Ordnance Survey maps. Now, one of them could prove really useful to Tony, just as they've proved to countless other people. Ordnance survey maps cover the whole of Britain. There's a different map for each section. It's probably a map showing the area in which you live, so you could get hold of one and have a look at it. As Tony found, they come in different sizes, or rather, different scales. Have a look at this. Now, this one shows the whole of the Isle of Wight, like a picture viewed from above, say, by a helicopter, or better still, a satellite. On this scale, rain clouds are about three kilometers up. Mount Everest is about 10 kilometers high. Planes would find it very difficult to fly above here. But satellites like this one can fly above that height. And if our satellite goes as high as a way up here, in fact, as high as this, about 100 kilometers up, you could view the whole island as the map shows here. And that's the view from our satellite 100 kilometers up. But you only have to be as high as about this, that's 50 kilometers up, to see this much of the Isle of Wight. From this height, you see, you get more detail, but you can't show the whole island. So which is best? Well, it all depends on what you need. And Tony needs a map that will fit his clue. Remember the clue. One finger might 10 minutes be. One finger might ten minutes be. Well, I've got two maps. I know. Let's see how far a finger's width will take me on this town map. Hmm. From Pier Street to the Baptist Chapel. Pier Street. Let's see if it's 10 minutes walk to the Baptist Chapel. And here's the Baptist Chapel. That didn't take me anything like 10 minutes. So the clue can't mean this map. Let's try the Ordnance Survey map. Now, where's a clear finger's width of road for a fair test? I'll try from Southford to the turning to Stenbury Manor. Here we are, at the beginning. Southford to the turning. Hmm. Let's see if this takes 10 minutes. Four o'clock. Enjoy the disco. Sorry, madam. Hello. Now, five minutes. We could be halfway. Stenbury Manor. Here's the turning. A finger's width on the map brings me to here. And it's taken me... Ten minutes. Hmm. This must be the map the clue meant. 
If I'd counted my paces, I'd know how far I'd travelled in that finger's width on the map. Here we go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One thousand. One thousand paces. One of my paces is about a meter. So I've just walked a thousand meters. A kilometer. My finger's width is a kilometer. This looks like the scale at the edge of the map. One kilometer, one finger's width. Good. Hello? The diamond shape again. And an arrow pointing to... A church. There's the church, and there's the church on the map. A tiny black square with a cross on top. Another clue? Sheep give wool, worms give silk. Now find the cows that give no milk. Cows. Cows that give no milk. Cows? Cows! A place called Cows! To Cows, on the ferry. V and P. What's that? Vehicles and passengers. Well, here we are. What's he doing? Amazing maze. Take our word, there is no doubt. You'll find your way in, but will you get out? <laughs> this is worth a look. Should be child's play. Is this the way out? No, it's where I came in. Oh well, let's try again. Right, now then left here, right and then left, and down here, yes, that should do it. Stairs round this way, round here, yes, I'm sure I'll find it this time. There we are. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Here we are. Oh no, not him again. Oh. What's this? That's the plan of the maze, yeah? A plan of the maze. Now, 
a map. All I've got to do is go here, and then down here, round there. Yep, great. <laughs> I should have looked at the map in the first place. Thank you, Squire. Litter? Some people. Right, off we go. That was an amazing maze. Hard work, though. I know. I could just do with a sit down in the sunshine. <laughs> he seems to got the same idea. You're listening to Radio 4. And now, Radio Playhouse presents Guns at Dawn, the story of the Second World War. Firing range. Danger when red flag is flying on the hill. Let's see. Must be careful. No red flag. No danger. The squad had been on alert for 12 hours now, and they were cold and hungry. Sergeant Bowles drew them to attention. Let's sit down and look at the paper I found in the maze. Treasure hunt, latest. Now the castle you must enter. You must find the very centre, north to south, east to west. Where the donkey tries his best, at this place be sure to wait. Your reward must needs be great. And now I've got to find the very centre, the very centre of the island. North to south. East to west, let's see. Now there's north to south. Yeah. And there's east to west. Yes, now where they cross should be the very centre. And look. Harrisbrook Castle. That's near the centre. That's where I've got to go. Right, so let's clear off this firing range before they start. <laughs> You may like to know that more BBC school programmes have support material to accompany them, including teacher's notes and information packs. To find out more, please write to BBC Education Information, Villiers House, London W5 2PA, or ring 081 991 8031. And if you're a parent interested in buying any of this material, then helpful advice is available for...